my leg was strained, my, my hand, you know. God is a miracle worker, and nobody is useless. It's the only way you want to make yourself a useless person. God says that I cannot make use of the hand, so he gave me the opportunity to be making use of the leg. My name is Tomaunu. I'm an artist, a landscape painter. I'm from the other state. <laughs> I love colors a lot. I love playing with colors. My painting mostly based on landscape painting. So since I love colors, I will just think how to mix the colors together to bring out the, the stuff that I have in mind. Oftentimes in Nigeria, people with any form of disability are most of the time treated with a certain level of compassion, maybe love, and sometimes pity. Today, I meet Toma, differently abled person, and she shares her story of strength, of courage, and resilience with me. My leg was present, my, my hand, you know, uh, the, the thing that I believe that God do. God is a miracle worker, and nobody is useless. It's the only way you want to make yourself a useless person. God says that I cannot make use of the hand, so he gave me the opportunity to be making use of the leg. So I used the leg to feed myself. I use it to operate my phone. I use it to do so many things that I can do. Toma is not defined by her situation, but fiercely and graciously use her gift to express herself. Painting is just like my voice. Majority of my painting is just like, it's just expressing yourself through colors, just appreciating the nature. So. This is her work. She used this leg to paint, but she didn't use the hand. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm God has given her a kind of a knowledge that is beyond human understanding. Then we know that you cannot make use of hand to write and painting, but you can use a leg to paint very well. And by the time she has finished the painting, we will just be looking at her that you see the one that has done it. If we join to normally argue, especially the visitor, that they don't normally believe that city one, until when she started doing it in their present. That's the time for the And people that used to come here, they normally appreciate her by try as much as possible to buy some of her. Uh, if you look at so many of my paintings, it's based on nature. What I say so is that, you know, God is the greatest artist, and everything he did is perfect. And if you look at the sky day by day, you think there's so many beauty. But just how did Toma discover this giftedness of hers? Actually, it was a friend of mine that brought out the gift in me. She saw me feeling the children with my leg. So she said, we can do something better than feeling the children with my leg. So she was the one that God used for me. With the help of an assistant assembling her painting tools, Toma demonstrates her painting skills while sharing the emotions and relief painting brings to her. Sometimes I don't believe that I was the one that did it. It's, it's a little bit difficult for me to believe that the works are done for, by me. My own painting gets me an assurance that I can still give back to society. What I say to you is that, you know, when I was still much, much younger, I, I thought, I thought I'm not useful. Let me use it, because I, I could not use the, the art and every other thing. So I was just like thinking that, how are you going to do this? Toma shares her challenges, not focusing on it as a stumbling block, but 
She sets the tone on the positive as she reveals the hurdles of her life's journey. According to a proverb that said, no pain, no gain about life. Life is full of challenges, and the more we live, the more we see them around. Talking about the challenges, the first time in school, I will never forget it. The first time in school, I went to Akoka Junior High School. Or junior School. But the first time I went to that school, when I, when I went to go to the principal, that I went with some of the staff here. And when we got there, the principal does not know that I understand you, but he said something that, why do they bring someone like her to school? And that she's not supposed to be in school. All she needs is just for you to, to, to put her somewhere to be eating until God says. I, I have to say something that, sir, may the good Lord have mercy on you. He was shocked. He could not believe that I heard what he said. I just thank God for the owner of the challenges because he owns the key to every challenge. And he makes a way when there seems to be no way. I keep glory to God because if not for him, I don't know what could have happened to me. So many challenges, so many challenges. And you know, there's this thing that keeps me going that time. If there is no challenges, there will not be testimony. I faced a lot. In spite of Toma's visible challenges, Toma has a positive outlook towards life and the people she comes in contact with. Her caregiver and one of her teachers reveal the other aspects of Toma. <laughs> She loves everybody because I recollect that yearly, uh, as a staff of this school, especially we men, I don't know, maybe it's really to the women too, she used to present us a gift as a man, as men in this uh, school, no matter how token it is. She tells me the place of God in her life, making her achieve more than she can imagine. God is my strength. You know, God is a wonderful God that that's why what you are going to, you will surely find a way to make you smile. You will surely find. The, the world may tell you that you are not this, you are not that. But as long as you have this God, you will surely find a way to make you happy. My strength is from God. My joy is from God. Everything is from God. That's why everything that you are going through, everybody goes through a lot in this country, Nigeria. All you just need to tell yourself is that I can make it, I can do it. And just keep on smiling. By the time God works, you won't know. You will just be asking yourself, is it me? Am I wrong? Just put your trust in God and try to do the little things that you know how to do. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on God, especially. If you, if you give up on yourself, people will give up on you. And what's more, this 28-year-old lady challenged once again the thought of entertaining self-pity. I used to feel pity for myself, but not anymore. Because God has given me the strength. God has shown me that despite my challenges, I can still go places. 
by giving me the opportunity to paint with my leg, by giving me the opportunity to show that there is ability in disability. Well, not much is known about the condition data-wise, and so according to a 2018 article from The Guardian, there are more than 100,000 cases of cerebral palsy in Nigeria, with most affected individuals in need of care due to cerebral palsy effect on functional abilities. But more alarming is a recent data, according to Benola Initiative, an initiative aimed at creating awareness on cerebral palsy in Nigeria. The condition affects 17 million persons worldwide and over 700,000 in Nigeria alone. Whereas that data claims a huge number of people live with cerebral palsy, what is more unnerving is that half that number may likely wallow in self-pity. Toma has proven to be an exception, full of life, deep in thoughts and full of cheers. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Emotional, she recalls her journey to education and how having a degree remained her most joyful day. Every day whenever I wake up, I always just for something that God should give me joy. That's what all the challenges. The day that I finished my, my NC program, I mean, even the fourth that day, I would just sit in the hostels, start screaming. Start shouting, start singing. But on the day that I finished my NC, I was just like, are you sure that I finished? <laughs> are you sure that I finished? And when I went say, oh, we're to marry again. I said, are you sure that it is Toma? She said, it is you. So I, the day that I finished, I did my last paper. I said, do I have another paper? I was just asking myself. That I have another They said no. And since from the exam up to my hostel, I was just shouting, shouting, and then I can't believe it that it was me. Thank you so very much for having us. Thank you.